Yo, what is happening, world? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my last video. Uh, this isn't going to be a life story video, but more of just, just something on my mind, really. Um, okay, so, apparently there's this new TV show called The Virgin Diaries, okay? And it stars, like, all these people, like, my age, a little bit older, a little bit younger, like, over 25, who they haven't had sex yet, and... I guess the show just displays their nervousness and uh, their, and it like puts their lack of experience on display for the world to see. And I never really enjoyed shows like that because uh, I think it really I think it's like exploiting you know those who you know think because that they haven't had sex yet that there's something wrong with them, which is completely fucking bogus and false. And anyone who believes that man, you ought to get shot. Okay, maybe not like maybe not that, but you ought to get your ass beat, cause there, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, like if someone like my age were to say, "Yo, man, I'm you know in my 30s and I haven't had sex yet," I'd be like, or if I'm in my or you know late 20s, cause I'm gonna be 30 in six months. That's pretty scary, by the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, if someone like said, "Yeah, I'm your age and I haven't had sex yet," I'd be like, "Okay, cool." You know, and then, you know, of course, my next question, if I were a true friend of them, would be, okay, well, what are your motivations for not having sex, for waiting? Uh, cause, I mean, like, we, we've been indoctrinated to believe that, you know, like, that everyone's gotta get down, and everyone's gotta have sex, and if you don't have, and if you're not sexually active, you're, 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 you're not normal and there's something wrong with you. But, but the paradox is like, is that like, we're also taught to wait too by, you know, the people are just, you know, the leaders at our school, you know, the, like the sex ed teachers and, uh, you know, religion tells us to wait, you know, I mean, and here's what sucks. I had sex. I did, I did sex ed when I was 11 years old, okay? That's crazy, all right? So that means there were motherfuckers getting down at ele at the age of 10, 11, 12. Like, friggin', like, getting blowjobs in the bathroom. And, like, yeah, I know, this is gonna be a vulgar video, sorry. We're get, getting blowjobs in the bathroom and, like, and, you know, and having sex in the bathroom. Yeah, I know, NCS. Yeah, you know, in the, uh, enough of that, enough of that. So, yeah. So that's how crazy it is. That's how, you know, crazy the whole sex thing has gotten. Um, so the thing I would ask is, you know, what are your motivations for having sex? I mean, because if you, if you look to others to kind of make sure you're okay, you know, it, it's, you're not going to get an honest answer. It, it's just not going to happen. Uh, why is that? Because different people have different lives, and you know you can't completely relate a hundred percent to one, um, to one single person. It, the, the, the world doesn't work that way. Different people have different issues. Uh, I just happen to have several of them, uh, you know. And in my next life story, I'm going to talk about how I had to deal with an addiction, uh, you know. And then in my other Life story number four, I'll do, I'll talk about something else, and then I'll talk about something else, and then my 5 inch of video is going to be the big reveal, you know? So, different people go through different things. It's, it's, it's not fair to, uh, to, to, to look to others for happiness, because one, it puts too much pressure on you to please them, and it puts too much pressure on them to please you. So, you know, and, and this, and this video does go out to those maybe my age, over 25, going into your 30s and you haven't had sex yet, you know, there's nothing wrong with you, you're just, you're, you know, you're, there's a misalignment between your motive, your, your personal motivations and your external motivations. Um, and here's what's up, okay, and here's like my little theory is, this is going to get a little bit detailed. And my little theory is, you know, if you play with yourself and if you pleasure yourself, then you probably want sex in your life. Makes sense, right? I mean, like, you know, uh, let me compare, uh, let's see. I'll compare, I'll compare, mm, let's 
let's see. It's compared to like a s no. Yeah, it's compared to like a simulator, okay? Like uh I play a lot I play Wii Sports, you know, that's like one of the only games I have for my Wii is Wii Sports and I play the bowling game a lot. Uh, you know, and I you know, I'll sit there for like an hour trying to throw like three perfect games in a row, okay? <laughs> uh and then I'll get bored and I will say I'm just checking on my time. Looking at my laptop to check the time there. That's why I'm doing this. Um I'll get bored and I'll say, man, I really wish I could go bowling for real. That's kind of what pleasure, that's kind of what self-pleasure is. It's really just simulated sex. It's just, you know, you know, it's like you're helping yourself out. You're giving yourself an orgasm. You know, why not have someone else give you an orgasm? Right? Would that not feel better? I don't know. So, uh, and one last thing before I put an end to this. Um, If 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 being you know inexperienced, I really hate the word virgin, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to say inexperienced. You know, if 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 being inexperienced makes you feel bad in any way, shape, or form, then you have the right to not be proud of it. You have the right to say, okay, I'm better at other things. Um, the reason I say this is because this is a video response to a guy named uh, Donnelly Miller who. In almost all of the titles of his videos, he announces that he's a 36-year-old virgin. He's never had sex and he's 36 years old. But, you know, he also says, oh, I've done like, you know, 8 million marathons. I've climbed mountains. I've done skydiving. I've done all these cool outdoor things that I've never done. Okay? I can't say that I've skydived. I, so I would be a skydiving virgin. Okay? I've never climbed a mountain. I've never even been around a mountain other than driving next to him when I'm in the Midwest, when I'm visiting my mom. You know what I mean? And then I'm just driving next to him, not climbing them physically. You know, I've never done hang gliding. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is to run a marathon. So there's four things. Yeah, four. There you go. Yeah, because I love math. There's four things that he has done that I haven't. Does that make me jealous? No. I don't care. But the fact that he is getting down on himself for not having sex and then being proud of it or quasi proud of it or just the fact that he is obsessing about it so much to put it in the titles of his videos that gives me a little concern because not only is the self esteem not sufficient enough to you know get over the fact that he's never had sex he also feels the need to you know, get attention by putting it in the titles of his videos. And I watched a couple of videos because it was a related video to my last life story. So, you know, I know what it means to have social anxiety. And I posted as a comment in one of his videos saying that, yeah, you you need, it's, it's just like climbing a mountain. It's just like doing an outdoor activity. If I were to go out and do an outdoor activity, I would be frozen with, with fear. I would not probably not be able to do it. I'd probably cry, I'd probably hyperventilate like no one's business as I'm, you know, as I'm like trying to like kind of reach my hand up so I can get the next rock and then be like, oh my god, oh my god, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fucking fall, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. You know, like, that's how I would feel the first time climbing a mountain. Because, and this is going to go on to another thing that I'm going to talk about later on, but I want to finish this up. And that's going to be, like, for tomorrow. I'm going to probably do one of these, like, every one, two days, because I have a lot to say. And then, and, you know, so, like, why should you be, why should you be proud of that? And, you know, you can, you can even flip the script around and say, yo, I'm not, I'm not sexual, I'm not inexperienced because I, because I can't get any, I'm, I'm inexperienced because I'm, because I'm patient. I'm inexperienced because you know I'm waiting for the right woman, for the right man or woman to have sex with, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that because I want my first time to be the best time of my life. And let me tell you, my first time was at 16 years old. I would take it back, man. Because yeah, you know I got in at an at a young age, but it was like the worst sex ever. 
and I waited almost 10 years to have sex again because I was like, all right, next time I want to have sex, I want it to be like, I want to do my homework and I want to like actually please the woman instead of having her just lie there and be like, okay, you done yet, motherfucker, so I can go to sleep. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, like, it, it's really nothing to be ashamed about at all. Uh, and one last thing I want to say here. I keep saying that. I don't know why, but whatever. Someone made a comment saying, Oh, you know, if you're a man and you haven't had sexual experience, you know, it's not a choice. And that that is complete and total bullshit. Okay? That's like me saying that I can't make more money because the economy sucks. I can't. I just got to get creative and got to get up off my ass. It just means I have to work harder. It's the same if you aren't getting any sex and you want it really bad. You just got to you gotta learn how to talk to women. You got to learn how to make a woman comfortable with you to the point where she may want to take your clothes off. And then once the clothes start coming off, you gotta learn how to be, how to escalate the physicality without being awkward about it. You know, those are like three things you gotta learn. And guess what? As a man, you have a choice to do that. Because women want sex just as much as men, if not more. Probably more, to be quite honest. Since, you know, they make all kinds of magazines devoted to how to please him, how he can please you better. You know, have you taken a look at a woman's magazine? There's sex all over it. It's f fucking dumb. It's retarded. It's almost re it's retarded to the point where it's like almost boring in a way. Because I'm like, yo, is that all you think about all the time? Is just how to jump a guy's bones without like feeling like without feeling like a slut? Is that is that all you think about? Is like, okay, how do I give him a better hand job? How do I give him a better blow job? How he can eat me out? Or how, how, he, how, he, how he can eat you out earlier, uh, easier, or better, or whatever, how to make you feel better. I don't know. So yeah, the whole sex thing is really, like, it, it's nothing to be nervous about. It's just one more thing. It's just one more adventure that, yeah, I, you know, I'll quote George Michael in this and say, you know, sex is natural, sex is good, not everybody does it, but everyone should. Why not? It's just another adventure. That's all. And if you choose not to go on that adventure, then you can replace it with another adventure. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to judge you. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys won't judge you. And if they are judging you, that means that they are judging themselves for not having enough sex either. That's my little cynical take on it. And you know what? That's probably true. It's probably true. So there you go. That's my whole take on the whole, on the whole virgin situation. You know, I hope they cancel that show because to 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 put the sexually inexperienced under a heat lamp like that and to judge them as awkward people, it's really unfair. It's really unfair. You know, it's like uh, it reminds me of a uh, Doctor Drew's uh, rehab factory or whatever the hell it was. Like, yo, are you really gonna exploit people like that and objectify them to that matter? Because that's just really sad, in my opinion. That's really sad. Yeah. So, yeah, that's about it. Alright, I hope you like this, and have a good day, night, whatever day. I'm about to go to work, so have a good night. Peace.